everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I have some things to show you today, but first of all, I did indeed get that V-beam yesterday. So, I wasn't really planning on doing a video today. I thought I was just gonna have to leave you guys a message, but I thought, you know, you guys will understand. And I kind of wanted you to be able to see anyway. When I had it done, which was yesterday morning at 9.30, and today it's about, it's about 9.30, so 24 hours ago. And I had it for redness, for uh, specifically broken capillaries. And um, I didn't put any makeup or anything, so I had it done on my neck and my chest, and I also had, she froze two more little things on my chest. She told me that I was going to be, probably gonna be swollen today. And she said, your cheeks are probably gonna be swollen. Well, I was thinking, that's cool. <laughs> Maybe it'll look like I got, you know, filler in my cheeks or something, I didn't care, you know. But what happened is, it's not like my whole cheek swelled. If you can see, it's kind of, um, I think this side, which was worse, you can see it's bumpy. So it's like each individual place is swollen. So my skin kind of looks like Freddy Krueger right now. And so what I did is I just tried to make it work. And I also, to add insult to injury, I used, I was watching this girl on YouTube. Her name is Sarah Ashcroft. And she did a video like how she used to do her makeup versus how she does it now. And she used these products and I thought we were probably the same color. So I went out and got them. It's the um, ABH Foundation in 330W, which was way too dark, way too warm for me. And then the Too Faced Born This Way concealers in Taffy and Almond. And <clears throat> I could probably make those work, but not really, only with this. And I think my face is still a little bit too orange. I had to kind of um, just make it work with those. So I did try them, but anyway, so I don't, bottom line is I am toe up <laughs> from the flow up because not only, I figured since I was getting this done, I would go ahead and get something else done that had been bothering me. And that is my eyebrows. And you can't really see it because, let me pull you in closer. You can't really see it because um, I have on a new eyeshadow palette today. But right here, I didn't like the way my eyebrows were so heavily microbladed. So I thought maybe I could just get, you know, the IPL done and it would, you know, be able to blast that away. But you can't, or tattoo removal. You can't because they don't want to do it right there so close to your eye and they don't want to, I wouldn't care about this, but they don't want to make it where your hair won't grow back there. So I went back to the girl that microbladed my brows and what they do is they do the same thing. Matter of fact, this hurts worse than all the other. This has been sore and I had this done, I think Tuesday. Tuesday or Wednesday, not yesterday, maybe Wednesday. They use this white stuff. I'll put a picture in here of the first day that I had it done and it's like, it looks like baking soda or something that they kind of, you know, scratch back in there. And what it does is it makes the ink that she used to do the microblading kind of flake off. Now she told me that this would probably wash off. I have taken, I think, two showers and washed my face and it has not come off. It's just kind of faded down to this gray color and I'm not about to like try to pick it off. So I just didn't even do my eyebrows today. I wanted to show you a new ring that they sent me from Miranda Fry and I love it. You guys know I love Valentine's Day, I love hearts, and I love the design of this ring. So I was gonna put it on, but I wanted to show it to you. Isn't that pretty? I love how flat it is. So I'm going to just suck it up and show you a few things that I got this week. The first thing and one of the biggest packages I got this week was from Freeze Co. Beauty. And you guys know I have been loving those glosses. I promise you, if you don't do, but just try one gloss of theirs and use my Lisa 20, 20% 20 off code, you will love them. They're not like any other lip gloss. They're so velvety and they just make your lips feel so good. They've got 
so many good things in there that helps plump them and condition them. And I have loved those. So she sent me several more colors. And um, the color I have on today is, it's one of Tammy's favorites. And Tammy is the one who told me about these. It is buff. And this one is beautiful. It's exactly what I've got on today. And it's not shimmery. And it has a lot more color than some of the other ones do. So I would say this would be a great one to start off with. And I use their night serum every night, every morning, just all the time. I love having a lip conditioner that has a wand because it just makes it so easy. So they sell this, which is Fit Glow Beauty. And then they also sell Glow Minerals Beauty. And so she sent me the nude or natural lip liner. So that is what I have on with this today. So that is my lip combo and I love it. It's perfect for today when I don't want anything too crazy because I already look crazy. She also sent these to me. I was very curious about these. I actually saw these, I think, on her. I saw them on the website and I saw them on her Instagram. And they are Buff and Sculpt. So they're two cream products that but Sculpt, of course, is a bronzer and that is exactly what I have on today. It is the only, I don't have on any bronzer, anything but this. And I just used a small, it was actually like a um, one of my Smashbox little concealer or buffing type brushes. So I just twirl it in there and it really is beautiful. I used it around my hairline. I've used this a couple of times. Love it, love it. So worth trying. If you like any type of cream bronzer or contour, you will love this. And I used it around my jawline and everything. Then, today is the first time I've tried this. It is called Buff from Fit Glow. And this is actually, I was surprised it says, um, apply to cheeks and lips for a burst of natural lift and color. So this is supposed to also lift. It says lift and firm in one step with Lumi Buff Lip and Cheek Balm. Natural plant peptides firm skin while plant collagen fights signs of aging with strengthening skincare. That was a lot. And this is the color. And so this is the color I have on my cheeks and beautiful. I did, haven't tried it on my lips yet. Let's swatch it for you. With, here, I'm gonna swatch it right beside. Wow, it's very creamy and emollient. It's beautiful. So love those, thank you so much. And before I wipe this off, I wanted to show you the other lip liner that she sent me because if you go on the website, you may want to order these too. I love this, it's called, it was like a hard to pronounce word, Soulmate. Okay, I didn't know it said that. So let's swatch Soulmate beside that lift. This, the reason I wanted to swatch that for you, I'd already swatched it is because this is gonna be not as brown, it's gonna be more of like your true pink lip color. It's gonna be a beautiful lip liner to like extend your lip line and just give you a little bit, not quite as bright or dark as Pillow Talk, a little bit more subtle, but just really pretty. So I wanna make sure I showed that to you. And then she sent me, I used this today, she sent me this Fit Glow Face Palette. Um, I don't have the box right here. And this is what I used on my eyes today. So it's a little bit more, it's not like every other palette that comes out where it's so orangey and just so like pink, orange, fuchsia. It's like all those colors that are just kind of hard to use. This is more of the taupes and like that is a true good crease color, taupey color. This is very pigmented. I mean, it's just, I mean, it really does, it's easy. Like I could put one little swipe on the inner corner and all on the inside of my eyes. So very, very pigmented and very easy to use. Like not, they're pigmented, but they're not crazy where it's hard to blend out. They just, they pack a punch and then they blend out real easy. So I thought these were really pretty. I didn't use this blush today because I wanted to show you the other one all by itself, but really pretty palette. This, I got some drugstore stuff this week too that I really like. Three of them I have not tried yet, but I just wanted to show them to you anyway. One is this NYX or NYX High Glass Finishing Powder. This stuff is so good. I don't know, I mean, it is just 
they have just really hit the jackpot with this powder. I use it with this brush, which is one of my all-time favorite brushes. This is a Sonia G. It came in that set. It's called the Soft Cheek Brush. It is just, um, for one thing, it's natural hair fibers, so it's gonna pick up more and, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not as soft, but it's gonna pick up more and deposit more on your face. And before I did this, I really hated my makeup and I really could see like all of the lumps and bumps of that swelling. But after I used this, um, let me see if I can do it on my hand and see if we can see any difference. It's just, don't be scared that it's gonna be too glowy. It is just, just, I mean, perfect. Look how it does, how it gives you just a little bit of a sheen, so pretty. And the color that I got is medium. So while you're out this weekend, if you go to Ulta, make sure you get that. And then these, I am so curious about. I bought, the first one I bought is, they're all the shine. They, they do come in matte but they're these new Revlon lipsticks. And the first one I bought is Glossed Up Rose. And I came home, they were hard to open. The sticker on them would hardly budge. I had to use like my tweezers to get it off, but look at how pretty. I just feel like this is going to be pretty. So let's swatch. Yep, they're shines. Look at that. Oh my goodness, so pretty. Lots of colors. They were out of the nude one when I was there. So let's see. Good snap. Bought um, Beaming Strawberry, which is a good, I would say it's a light uh, bubblegum type pink. I would say it's a blue pink. This is so sleek pink. And I think this one might be lighter. So pretty. But see how they're very very glossy just like the l'oreal shines oh i'm so excited i don't know if i saw a peach one but i'm gonna definitely go back today and maybe stop by walgreens and cvs and see the other colors but just so pretty another thing that i got in my fit glow beauty package thank you so much she knows she's been watching my videos and she knows this is one of our mine and john's all-time favorite cleansers i have probably purchased this 10 times probably, and it lasts months, but it is the Glow Glycolic Resurfacing Cleanser. It smooths, it cleanses, exfoliates, uncovers renewed, refined skin. This is just, this is the thing that took the, um, like made a lot of the sunspots on John's head, like a golfer and beach goer, you know, they get when they, bald guys get, he's in there, get the little um, freckles on their heads. It makes, makes them flake off because it helps your skin exfoliate and it's in a pump. It's perfect just to keep in your shower. And what I do when I use it, I only use it because I use other things. I only use that when I can tell I really need it or about probably about every three showers probably. I actually rub it on my skin and leave it sitting there for a minute and just kind of let it soak in and um, it's just good stuff. It really is. Along with that, I ordered this from Amazon and got it in this week. This is the exfoliating body lotion that my dermatologist told me about. Um, one of them in the practice, she is the one that suggested I use the Cetaphil, not Cetaphil, but the CeraVe SA smoothing lotion, and I've been using that. And then the other dermatologist, I think she's a PA, she said this was one of her favorites. So I'm not even gonna unpack this or start using it, using it until I finish with that SA, and then I can come back and tell you which one I think smooths your skin the most, which one I think is the best. But this one, is um, I think it's you know pretty pretty serious. Let's see if it says it doesn't say. I know it's glycolic, where the other one is I think um, salicylic. So you could alternate, but anyway, I'm gonna wait and use the other one first. When I was leaving the office yesterday, I asked her, you know, what did I need to do? It it actually was so much less of a process than the IPL. When you get the IPL done, I mean, they put 
a thing on you and they put numbing cream and they put your hair up and it's like a big deal. With this, I just went in there and they just kind of, I put my hair up, I brought my own clips to put my hair up and they didn't really put any numbing cream on or anything. They just fired up that machine and started zapping the places. And it does, does it hurt? Yes, it hurts. Is it unbearable? No, I just got her to stop after like each three or four and take a little break. Um, of course, the worst was when she went all around my nose to get those broken capillaries. And um, you can see my nose is swollen, which I love it because it's not so skinny. But she got all the way down my nose where I had broken capillaries there. And um, so anyway, it did not take very long. If just in case you're curious to get my face, my neck, and my chest done was $500. And I feel like you get so much more when you get the IPL done. But the IPL, even though it does get dark and the some of the blood vessels, this V-beam is supposed to be better for redness, like for rosacea, all that kind of stuff. So where I was getting to is before I left, I said, what do I need to do? And she said, just make sure you put sunscreen on. And I had just been looking at what they carried. They carry all kinds of products there. And I was looking at like the Elta MD, the SkinCeuticals. I was thinking, wouldn't it be great if I could really find a tinted sunscreen that I really liked and I could wear on my body and it didn't look shimmery, it didn't stay tacky and it really covered. And so when I asked her what she liked, said that she said they all loved this. And she said she wears it every day. And it is the Revision IntelliShade Original. They do have a matte that I'm curious about, but I put this on yesterday. I went, left their office, went in the hall and used their bathroom and put this on. And it, I mean, it just made the biggest difference. So let me um, put a little bit on for you and see if you can tell how pretty it is. I'm gonna do it back because I feel like you can see better back here. But, um, and it did stay dewy, but not in a greasy, can't even put your sunglasses on kind of way. It kind of um, dried down after a few minutes. So let's see. So not a lot of coverage, but on my face, it really did help. I think it covers red really well. I'll leave that on there and we'll be able to tell once it dries, you'll be able to see because I just don't like sunscreens that stay tacky and gooey feeling. I just found the box to that eyeshadow and it's called, it's the night and it says beauty elevated with skin transforming ingredients that go beyond adding color. Pure pressed minerals, that's why they're so pigmented and that is why they blend out so well because mineral eyeshadows are just like that. It says pressed with organic oils and collagen boosting plant extracts, firm, smooth, and protect skin from aging while adding a pop of natural color. So those of you that like really clean makeup, you're gonna love this line. It's just, it's good stuff, but yet it still looks pretty. I bought another Tati Blendiful. I haven't been using it as much lately because of my skin flaking, but um, I actually, I was gonna show you, it puffed up a little bit. This is my fault, but I just did an experiment and washed it, just threw it in my laundry with my towels and it came out basically clean, but you can see I dried it too. And it um, lost a little bit of its shape, but I don't think it's anything that wouldn't straighten out if I, I, I think washing it by hand is better, but I wanted to get another one so that I would have two so I wouldn't feel the pressure to wash it if I didn't want to. One more thing, and then I'm gonna stand up and show you a pair of shoes that I got that I'm so excited about. These shoes are worth making myself do this video even though my skin looks like Freddy Krueger. <laughs> But um, I was telling you about Bay Harbor Beauty the other day in my empties video. And right after that, I think that afternoon, I got another package from her with the, now I may, let me make sure I'm pronounce it. I'm just gonna try it. The Urea Cream 35% alleviates rough, thick, cracked skin. This would be perfect for heels and hands. And I was on her Instagram last night. She also sells creams that are really good for psoriasis and eczema. She had some before and afters. So check out her website. After I did that video, so many of you 
told me down below how good her products are. So, and then she sent me the pumpkin facial cleanser, which I love. I love having a pumpkin peel and I have loved, I mean, I think, what line is it? Is it Glow Therapeutics that has the pumpkin mask or something? I, I love pumpkin products because they exfoliate just a little bit. Yeah, it says rub cleanser into skin and rinse. It's kind of like a natural, gentle, nourishing, and hydrating. A good, it's just good. It's in a lot of skincare products and a lot of masks and stuff. So thank you so much for sending me this stuff too. So I've got on this sweater that I've really enjoyed from Walmart. It's just a good mop neck. It's soft, it's warm, but not too hot. And um, then I have on these really comfy jeans that I got from Oliver. And then the shoes that I want to show you are fabulous. They're these little Jeffrey Campbell slides. They are right in style right now. They've got the wide square toe, which is so comfortable. I mean, when I put these on today, I didn't even, normally I'll put my shoes on to make sure it goes good with my outfit, but I'll take them right off and wear my, you know, Uggs until I put these on. These, I didn't even think about taking off. They are so comfortable because of this big toe box. And this is the dark nude, and I love it. It's kind of like a camel nude color. And I love the Bottega Veneta that are similar to this, but they have a much higher heel and if you don't like that high heel, you may like this one, which is a little bit lower, but I have a feeling I'm going to wear these to death this summer. So you'll kind of start noticing now, I'm kind of over winter clothes. I'm not even going in clothing stores and I'm really into the spring right now. So I'll be getting some like transitional pieces like this, but I'll also be getting some spring and summer stuff that I won't be able to wear for a little while. Speaking of, this is a dress that I saw on Amazon. It's on the Amazon Edit. I th oh, it's, no, it's called The Drop. And I'm not really sure what that is. I think it's where influencers um, pick stuff or I'm not sure. You guys probably know better than I do, but I saw this dress and I love when a dress, let me get out of the picture, when it cuts straight across like that, one, it's just flattering, and two, I love that you can wear a bra under this. I always love a good ribbed fabric because it's forgiving with rumples and everything. I got the medium, and as you can see, it's very, very stretchy. But it's still, it's still like a good fabric that's gonna keep its shape. So I was excited about that. And here are the shoes. I hope that you can see them on. I think you can but they're perfect for like jeans like these where you just really need nothing on your feet. And I just think that they're really cool. I have been taking pictures, like a right before picture, before I had this laser, and then I took some afters, and then I've been taking, I took a picture in the same spot today. So I will be taking pictures up until like the swelling goes away, and we'll see how, you know, the, the blood vessels fade and the redness. They say, matter of fact, she had me do an appointment for four weeks to see if I needed another one and see my progress like a checkup. A lot of people say they need two. I don't know if I, if I don't get like real, some really good results, I don't know if I would do another one. I don't know if I wouldn't just try to do the IPL again because the IPL also addresses the dark spots, but that's all the things that I'm gonna be able to tell you after probably a week or two. I will probably know something and be able to show you my before and after pictures. And we'll also be able to see with my eyebrows because I know I'm not the only person out there who has had their mic brows microbladed and didn't like, you know, just like a certain spot. It's not like I don't like all of it. I've really enjoyed having all of this done. It's really my fault for not telling her that I didn't want, you know, the whole tail end of my brow filled in like that. So, and then um, I was going to show you these pretty little stud earrings from Miranda Fry. I love these. They're kind of like crawlers. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I might, if I start, if my swelling goes down and I'm feeling spunky, I might do another video this weekend and maybe do a get ready with me or something like that. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.